wait to see you guys in Hebrew High. Wake up. It's a Wednesday. It's a new day. Waking up, thinking about Hebrew High. I hop in my ride and I drive to the synagogue. Learn about all I need to know. Glenn Feynman's class is where I go to learn about the Jewish ways, hanging with my friends and my Jewish days. During class, we'd be making discussions, and after that, we'd be playing percussion in the music class. We'd be learning about brass, and after that, I'd be kicking some butt, talking about <laughs> Judaism. Talking about Judaism. We'd kicking back and Krav Maga, and we'd kicking mats and beating that. <laughs> I defend myself with what I got. I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. <laughs> Cooking class, it's where it's at. I make all the Jewish foods, now look at that. I make matzo balls so big you can see, I put them in my mouth. One, two, that's three. <laughs> Kicking back in Edie's class, learning about Hebrew. Hebrew is the language of the Jews playing to Hashem and learn his ways. I study about the Jewish craze of tefillin on your head, where it goes. They tie it up, make it flow. Pray to God all day. That's not what Hebrew high is. You don't have any homework, because it's the shiz. Breaks up for friends and we eat the food and I hang with my friends and my favorite Jews. We talking about the latest gossip and we take a sip of the apple juice and go back to class and we kick it. Hey, you should go sign up for classes. I need to sign up for my classes. Me too. Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, let's see what we got here. Any great cooking class. Oh, Brad. Oh, you down? I would love cooking class. You down? Mm. I'm going to sign us up for that. Big matzo balls. I <laughs> <laughs> love that. What about for second quarter, guys? Um, Not second quarter, second, second hour. hour. Yeah, well, it's good here. <laughs> Jewish studies. With Where? More Maya. No, there's not. Not no, spirit. there's not. Oh. Jewish sports. Wow. That's a, Seriously? That's, yeah. That's oh my God. God. Karam Jewish Maga. sports and Karam Maga. So Science basically, if the Karam Maga is like a karate. Basically, no. karate and sports. Hi. How are you? If you are interested in learning about Judaism and thinking about Jewish identity, Bethel is the right place. I teach every year a class and other different topics. You can learn with me about the importance of uh, prayer, what do Jews believe, what is the Jewish perspective about Christianity, uh, what is the reason that there is a conflict in the Middle East between Israelis and Palestinians, why is there an anti-Semitism. These are different classes that I teach in different years and uh, among many other classes that you can get a lot of things from this. So come and study with us. We say the Kiddush on every holiday, evening and morning, or noon, really. So, we say Kiddush on Shabbat, Pesach, Rosh Hashanah, Shavuot, Sukkot, and what about Yom Kippur? What do you think? No. No. Why not? Because you don't eat or drink? Yeah, you can't drink, so there is no Kiddush. I like Hebrew high because I can be myself. Is that like for Shazam? A little bit with some cream. A little bit. You see that I, when I cook, I really measure everything very distinctly. Like this, Diane. I like this. I decided to go to Hebrew high so I could be with all my Jewish friends. So what are you playing? She's doing magic for everyone. No, she's doing it. I'm Cantor Beth, and I am inviting you to come to the high school next year to see what music and prayer are all about. The reason that we get so involved in the tefillot that we say partly is because of the music that we have for it. We have so many different melodies and types of music available to us that depending on our mood, we can sing melodies for all different types of tefillot. So when you come to the high school, one of the things you'll be able to do is incorporate your mood through your music in your tefillah. You get all your cuts done and then you open and, it up. And you get a... Sure, What? The... Excuse you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> I didn't sneeze, I didn't sneeze.
All right, so we're having a wonderful class, and I know how much everybody loves to have homework. So this week's homework assignment whoa, is I want you to read Parsha Bereshit. It's not there. It's not there. What's the matter? Right. Right. What's the problem? Wait, what what, what's the problem? I need to just Ryan, please sit down. I want to do I need to share something. Homework, can I, can right? I share something with you, please? Yes. All right, thank you. Can I see the Yes. Okay, well, and uh, th th this, it's not going to happen. I'm what do you mean? This, not, this is not, school. This is not school. This is school. This is this homework school. in school. This is Hebrew high school, okay? Hebrew high school is a lot different. We do not have homework in Hebrew high school. I have never no. taught without homework. You guys want homework, don't you? No. Oh. Is Isn't there homework in Hebrew high? Absolutely no not. There is no homework. What do you yeah. mean no homework? Woo! This is ridiculous. That is your homework, guys. This, there, no homework is your homework. Your job woo! is to I wish this was today. regular school. Okay. No, no. I, you know what? I cannot teach under these conditions. Well, I cannot teach under these there's conditions. There's the door. I'm going to go to door. Mrs. Rubin right now. Right there. Go. I quit. That's it. I quit. I can't Thank you. I think you have a point. What they were afraid of was the power of the government, and particularly for that type of crime, which is in essence what Saddam, what uh, Iran is doing. Iran is saying, if you protest, you have betrayed uh, the government. You betrayed the people and government of Iran. <laughs> takes a picture of a swastika and sets it as his background. Now, my initial reaction, of course, being Jewish, was not positive. I'm very inquisitive. Why did you do that? What is this supposed to mean? And my host parents laughed at this because they understood what I was saying, but they knew he wouldn't have understood. And, I mean, I asked my host father afterwards, I mean, do you yourself, and I used the Japanese word for Holocaust to understand what this is, he said he, he knew he didn't understand the meaning, so I mean, I tried to understand what a death camp is, and he understood. that I can do anything in my classes. Um, so far, I've liked Krav Maga. Watch out! We all, we all met each other. I've been on Hebrew High for about two years now. It's so addicting, I can't stop. We met each other at Hebrew High. Yeah, we did. We are now we're best friends. And more than that, we are, uh, we're, yeah. we're like one person. We're like, we're, we're a wolf pack. <laughs> Before I went to Hebrew High, I was a wolf pack of one. And now, <laughs> we're all the wolf, in the we're wolf, a wolf pack. We're a wolf pack of three. Of three. Wolf pack is um, this is a wonderful dinner tonight because it is a combination of Hebrew High students and the Bethel of the Synagogue Talmud Torah Board and the Big Board in Bethel. This is the first time we've had this combined group. And the plan is to have a big mix up at all the tables so that we have some students, some board members, and some kids and some adults because we want to know each other. We want to have dinner together. We want to hear from the kids what they're saying and doing. And I think you're going to find kids that there are a lot of listeners here. We, we want to hear what your thoughts are. So that's the point of this dinner, and I hope it will become an annual event. And you are cordially invited to each and every one. <laughs> Are one way. <laughs> 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 